We are coming up to the Bailey Homestead. Yeah, the Bailey Homestead. We think it's the Bailey Homestead. Little learning circle over there. It's either that or it's a home. Where do we go? Here's a river. And there's a bridge. So maybe actually we still have to get across that bridge. We were looking at the map and we had, before I turned on the camera, said so we got to cross the Little Kankakee one more time. The Little Kankakee, the Little Calumet. Little Calumet. <laughs> So that was the original homestead location right off, right through a little forest from the prairie. I think. Or it's, or it's, it's a field be, station or it's cooperative be, preschool. Yeah, I think we that might. That seems more like it. We might just go across this bridge and see the, oh. the homestead. Okay. Well, we're at the run. All right, let's keep going. We're actually at the homestead now before we were not, but these clearly look like log cabins from the 1800s. Well, aside from the nice house. Wow, they put a second story on that thing. That's pretty fascinating. Logs also look cut. Not these, but those look uh, cut lengthwise. Must have taken some doing. They say anything about the two story cabin? Obviously, the chimney and the roof been re revamped. Okay, so as we're passing the Bailey Homestead here, it says that uh, Mr. Bailey or Mr. Howe would trade with the native Indians and the native Indians would bring fur pelts. Uh, and I don't know what he traded in exchange for them, but basically this trading that happened here is what helped develop the Calumet region. And they make mention of the Kankakee Marsh, which we hiked a couple weeks ago. Check out the Kankakee Marsh hike in our playlist section. But uh, yeah, it was the Potawatomi Indians Hmm. Well, I like the trail mentions here. So this Bailey Trading Post was along the, sorry, Lakeshore Trail, which the, went to Chicago, Fort Dearborn at the time, uh, and uh, to between Chicago and Detroit, the Souk Trail, uh, which was a bigger trail going from New England down to down the Missouri River, split into the Santa Fe Trail and the Oregon Trail, which would then take you to the West Coast. The Oregon Trail and the Santa Fe as well, like the, I think they split at Kansas City. And when I was doing the elections work of Kansas, um, this is one of the things that I was looking at is where these trails went through Kansas and how they got through the Rocky Mountains. Ultimately, the, the trails that went to the West Coast had to somewhat originate in a valley system that would get you through the Rockies. Right. And that was kind of the deciding factor. Right. Um, so, you know, these are big trails with people that aren't in airplanes or using satellites to figure them out. 
I guess we got rangers. All right, we'll turn in.